I've been here with the Nevada Police Department now coming up on 28 years. Traffic safety has always been very important to me. For six years, that's what my primary focus was. The city of Nevada has had an ordinance for vending since 1977, but it was rather vague in its writing and it was essentially unenforceable. And in the last couple years, the complaints started to escalate to the point where we had some safety concerns. You'd have large congregations of students coming off the school campus and going to the mobile food vendors. You'd have individuals who get into fights because they're trying to get first access to the mobile food vendors. We also had reports that some of the actual vendors themselves were getting into fights to try to get the best parking position. You have kids running out into the street to either cross the street or they're just not paying attention as they're congregating around the trucks, which then poses a significant safety hazard for not only them, but for motors who happen to be driving by at the time. Initially, the primary goal was the school's desire to create a healthy food environment for their students. And we realized that the issue was not simply about healthy food, but it was about safety. We created an ordinance that was based on distance and time restrictions. Not only is there a 1,500 foot buffer, but there's also a one hour limitation both before the school starts and then one hour after school starts. It's important to note that we didn't do this exclusively with just the school district in mind and the city in mind. We did reach out to a number of the stakeholders, including the Ice Cream Vendors Association. The ice cream vending business employs about 50,000 individuals who that is their primary income to raise their families. The vendors are able to operate an hour after the end of school. In any other location that's not within the 1,500 foot zone, they can operate anywhere in the city. We actually now inspect the trucks and we provide them a copy of the ordinance and we explain it to them in detail what their requirements are. The end result is that our complaints from our residents and the complaints from the schools have dropped almost to non-existent. So I think that the end goal is that we have a solution that works for Novato, that has met the school district's needs and has met the police department and the city of Novato's needs.